My Gaming Edge. Hi, this is Numlock from Team Infused, going over a Gully Wars demo for MyGamingEdge.com. Um, this demo is the warm-up game for the Nations Cup final. I couldn't actually find that demo, so we'll just have to make do with this. So I'll click resume now, and we'll start it. Um, what we're going to be watching out here for is the way I've changed my game style since coming back to TF2. What I've started doing, rather than being the one that tries to get all the kills, although I will still do that, is I'll be the one outputting all the damage and letting my team clear up for me. So as you can see here, I'm having to play defensive because what teams are tending to do now is sending people on me. As you can see there, a soldier jumping on me. Um, I'm having to play really defensive and deal with that before I can actually put, uh, you know, push forward and put out the damage. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing on middles. Like most games at the moment, just sitting back, letting them get into my face, deal with the person that jumps at me, then go, then pushing forward. Um, so what teams that I play with tend to do that, so what Infused in the UK tend to do is um, have everyone, uh, the rest of the team go aggressive and I'll play back, deal with the people that are going aggressive on us, and once they're dealt with, you know, my, the rest of my team are already aggressive. Um, so what we're doing here, my team have moved outside on them, and to stop, because they're in garage, or they, or whatever you want to call it, Clifford, you know, whatever, um, I stick in this bottom right here, and now they push around to the left side to try and get the medic, I'm pushing out here on the right side, doing as much damage as I possibly can. You saw lots of numbers popping up then, uh, if you have the damage counters on. Um, you know, and that allowed Mike to get behind them, shoot a couple of rockets, and then that's what, two or three of them dead. Um, which is pretty much the idea of me just dealing all the damage I possibly can now. Um, so here again, we're just going to try and play quite aggressive. That's, you know, that's what we're trying to do. Um, so we're pushing that main. We know they're coming right side again. So I did, again, I stick to the right side to stop them pushing in behind us whilst pressuring a bit on the left side. Um, I see that they push to the left side and, you know, left the right side completely, so I ignore my stickers and I just, I'm just going to fall back. Um, so yeah, I set up a new sticky trap. Uh, when we're holding last, um, what we'll tend to do is have one of the utility scouts go, like, sniper or pyro. Personally, I like, I like pyro. Because if they try to push in the right side, which I'm not going to have sticky because I like sticky the middle and bottom left side. Um, you know, we can have the pyro bouncing back as much as possible. So I, like I said, do as much damage as possible. We had either one to get behind and kill off as many as we could without them realising. And then we get back and defend, which we're doing at the moment. We've killed two of them. Uh, equal leaders. They've just gone so last. So we're now just going to keep bite alive and keep the pressure on. So that's bite gone down. So we know we need to keep the pressure because we're doing a lot of damage. So there's me pushing constantly, pushing constantly, pushing two soldiers and the medic down, uh, back out of uh, lobby with the amount of damage I'm doing. But we do lose a scout here, so I'm going to try and get out, but obviously that's not going to happen in the closed corridor. So the problem there was, um, there's a bit of miscommunication. Uh, I tried to push out with a scout, but the soldier and the heavy just stayed back. We wanted to keep pushing because we had, you know, we were doing the most more damage than they were onto us. So that was a problem with that round. It was just a bit of miscommunication with, uh, between us. So that was <laughs> somehow salvaged. Um, so now the, just we, we cleared them out, so we're going to have to try and push as quick as we can and get as many of them down. And just keep them pressured away from the point to try and get as much cap time as possible so that we can cap it. Um, as you can see, we didn't because I wasn't alive. We weren't watching that um, right side. The right side didn't have enough pressure on it to stop them from coming back in. Um, so we all had to fall back. We got as much time as uh, point as possible. So what we can do now is we should be letting them push in and getting our scouts behind them. As you can see here, we did have a scout behind them, but he went for the pick on the um, down man, which was a great pick. Um, the problem with that then was I played incredibly aggressively, sniped a body shot at me because I didn't know he was there, and the scout could just push through and hit me from range. So that's pretty much given them this point. Um, so the next round what we're going to try and do is we're just going to you know, communicate a bit better um, sort out when we're pushing call the damage that's being dealt and stuff, you know? Ah! 
So obviously, um, there's two rollouts for uh, Gully Wasp. The one that I'm doing right now is the faster one. Um, it takes you right towards Big Door. Instant pressure on the dead man as soon as he gets choked. You'll get there quicker than he will. Um, the thing with going with, um, where their dead man's gone is, as you can see, I've got the upper ground, so I can put a lot more pressure on them than they can on me. So I've got compl I've got complete control now of their health back, and I've done enough damage on their medic and demo that the medic couldn't get out. Demo could. Demo just spammed his spammed whilst backpedaling. The medic couldn't. Um, so yeah, as you can see, they're putting enough pressure on them. Let the rest of my team deal with it, and then I went up behind them again to annoy them a bit more. So right now we've got the, we've got um, the advantage obviously because the medic died. We know the demo stick in lobby. We've just got to, I've just got to be a bit careful here whilst harassing him. Um, and now because we know it's been stickied right, we're just going to go left, pushing quickly at main. We know we have the uber advantage, so we know the, who the priority target is. And there I go straight on two stickies straight onto the medic, get him down. Then it's pretty much whoever's weak kill them. Um, so I'm calling out targets now, like who's weak, who's taking damage. So I called that I killed two things, and you know that's pretty much it. They've got nothing left to defend it. So as you can see there, I did enough damage in that round um, for the rest of my team to just W, hold W straight into them and clear everything up. And I got behind them and harassed them a bit more. Um, again, a different. Um, it's kind of a play on the uh, roll that I just did, but it just gets me onto their side a lot quicker. The problem is that with that is, if their demo goes for choke, he will easily kill me. Uh, luckily he didn't, and I can just harass from up top. As much as I want. See, I've gotten pipes and stickies onto the demo medic. Nothing they can do about it. I'm just harassing as much as I can right now. Doing as much damage as possible. And the thing I love about Goli Wash is if you get a full wipe on mid, you can spawn camp them. It's similar to Granary, except it's a lot easier to get to their spawn. So as you can see here, I'm gonna <laughs> try and jump up into their spawn and stick it up their spawn while soldier and medic on the left side. So it's pretty much ideal situation for us now. Our scouts can just go in behind us, get the cap, and then we've got this cap for free. Because they can't push up left side because we've got Uber, and they can't push up right side because it's a demon man holding it. So I bait them out with a once, a couple of sticks on the floor. The soldier falls for it, I get him down, but then obviously the demon managed to get out as well, not too much damage. Um, but I call that he is kind of weak, and my team managed to clear that up as well. So you can see how quick a round can be on Gully Wash, especially if it's a full wipe on mid. There's no chance of you holding that if the rest, of, if no one else, if no one on the opposing team died. Uh, which we didn't. So I'm going to be going for the slower rollout on mid. Um, when a demon tends to do it, do the, when a t demon man does this, sorry, uh, what he tends to do is push up the left side as I'm doing now. Um, it's more of a um, safety thing, so you can be on middle with your medic, so you can get the heals that you need. I mean, I haven't needed the heals necessarily at, at the moment on mid. I've been, you know, doing the damage as possible. Um, but because we had a sniper that was playing back at our choke, I wanted to play quite defensively because we wouldn't have the scouts to press them at all either. So you can see now it's just clearing up on mid, then pushing straight forward. Before we've even like half started capping it, I'm already pushing forward and getting trying to get some pressure on them, so I'm jumping straight into their face, trying to find out where they are. Um, so yeah, I, I see that they're in the left side, in a middle, in a lobby, sorry. So I'm just going to go straight onto them, get the medic down, try and get some pressure onto the soldier. And yeah, that's two of them down straight away. So I call that to my team that they're pretty weak. I've killed two of them, and they can just push straight away without any worries. Um, obviously, I saw the sniper as well, so I managed to call that for my team. So they take the left side, which is a safe route against the sniper. The sniper's pretty much useless now that we've gone left side like, and hidden from him. Um, so yeah, now it's just a standard cap really, because the sniper can't do anything, because my team's in lobby and he was up top, so he's had to fall all the way back to try and get another um, place to pick from. And now it's just more harassment again, so I I heard the call that the sniper was distracted the lobby from ours, so I push up top left, try and get some stickies on him, get a bit of damage, and try and get our sniper to body shot him. So, as you're seeing, like, my entire game so far is just consisting of harassment. I'm constantly putting the pressure on, I'm constantly getting stickies up, I'm constantly baiting in them in, into the stickies. You know, I'm not giving them, like, a few seconds just heal up and be safe. I say as I struggle to get up the stairs. So there we go, we're two down now, and we hear, we hear the fake Uber call, uh, or we ho what we hope is fake. So I, I'm being a bit risky now, I'm 
trying to put pressure on as much as I can. The stick is everywhere. Um, but we somehow managed to get a back cover in. That wasn't actually caught at all, so that took us all by surprise. Because we were getting ready to push in top then. As, as you can see from the first round and that round, the commun communications are a bit of a mishap at the moment in UK. Um, but that's down to us. We actually aren't practicing at all together. It's purely PC, but it's purely officials. This is, we only practice on the actual uh, official night. So, uh, like I said before, the problem with going up the right side is if their dead man beats you to choke, uh, which he did, uh, I get stuck in that little corner on the health pack, allowing their dead man to constantly pressure me until the soldiers get there. Then the soldiers can just spam, spam me about on the, that health pack. Um, their problem there was, though, uh, that they overcommitted. They sent two soldiers, a demo man and a scout, onto me on that left side. Um, I appreciate that the demo man needs to be taken out of the middle, but you don't want to overcommit so much that the rest of the middle is free to the other team. Because, like, as you saw then, my soldiers, medic, and scouts managed to just go up their side straight behind them, and they were sandwiched, and I managed to stay alive long enough that they were distracted by me, and my team could just walk in back behind them and get enough damage and kill them. So from here on it's pretty much the same thing, just going to hold, build uber, harass as much as possible. The problem with me being here is I can't really harass as much as I want to because of the tight corner. As soon as I walk around that corner I'm either going to get um, a dead man sticky trap in my face or a scout in my face as you saw then. Um, I want the scout to harass, try and harass me though because it's much easier for me to counter his harassment. So now because my team weren't able to hold off the left side. Uh, we're a bit stuck here, so we're going to have to uber out and try and force their uber. Um, a couple of stickies does that, so now as soon as that uber's forced, we want to get out. We're not too worried about the point right now because we're down a few members. Um, I would have stayed out then, but obviously Bite was still in the middle. So I kind of had to come back in and help him get out. Luckily we both managed to get out. So now it's just a case of spam as much as possible, do as much damage as possible. And you can see that I'm pulling off a lot of damage and Mike's just clearing up for me. Which is brilliant, you know. And again, I've done damage on that sort of scout. I'm calling his weak. And then get a uh, Fisker to come in and clear that up for me. So I jump away, get some health, trying to stick it there. Uh, spawn. I didn't actually manage to, and the scout saw me, so that's that um, like kind of ruined. So I can't actually get the spawn camp I wanted to. But I still managed to get some damage off, so I call that yet again for my soldiers. And straight away, Mike is in there doing some damage and got their damn man down straight away. So that's the great thing about playing with uh, Mike. He kind of actually really works well with me. As soon as I get some damage in, same with our scouts really, as soon as I get any damage in, they're straight in their face, pressuring them even more and getting that kill the cleanup for me. Um, so I'm just pretty much trying to... I, that, all I'm doing, all game, harassing, harassing, harassing. So as you can see now, they've just forced the Uber. I mean, our Uber's in force, so we're just trying to try and clear up what they used to force us. Um, so that's four players they used to uh, force us. We managed to kill two of them, but I got a bit trapped there, and the demo soldier and the scout were on me. But again, I called there a weak, and I called this one to a Fishy. So Fishy gets the headshot, and then he tries his best to get back in there to get the soldier, but he just couldn't do it. And so did Craig. I called the soldier as weak, and they tried to overcommit to get that soldier. Uh, unfortunately, the third man managed to stop both of them. Um, so again here, we're just going to be pushing out and trying to get as much pressure on as possible. Um, our soldiers might actually managed to get two kills there. Uh, I think it was onto their soldiers. So, we're pretty, so whilst um, our soldiers were choked then, I got picked off by a sniper unfortunately, but what we were trying to do then was get our soldiers to distract the choke while I come in behind on right side. I mean that would have worked had there not been a sniper watching the flank. Um, what I tend to do against a sniper is I uh, to dodge his shots rather. I just jump and crouch a lot. I mean it messes up your hitbox so much. I mean the down man hitbox is already a bit messed up because he's got such a small head and a big body. Um, but when you you know crouch and jump even more it's like the counter strike hitboxes. I'm gonna be all over your so again here because we would try and get they were so far back, but we had to Uber out because of where the stickies were. And we couldn't push around right side because they had a sniper. So the only way to really push out from there was to Uber out straight away and get me to jump on them and try and force them out, uh, force an Uber, force a kill or anything. Um, so I'm getting as much damage as possible. 
and then I get, we get out straight away, build the Uber again. So I got a sticky trap. What I, that's what I like to do a lot when we're defending on choke because you know they're gonna try and harass me like I do to them. So I try not to give it away, as, you know, as much as, as well as I can. Um, and obviously, when you set up sticky traps, it's always nice to get like a fake sticky trap up. So they 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 see one trap and they're like, oh okay, a sticky trap. I better avoid that one and stand as far back from that as possible. So what they'll tend to do is then, um, you know, run back into the other one, like you just saw that, like you saw a while ago at um, Choke with Mafu. Um, so unfortunately, I couldn't kill that one scout, and he forced bites Uber. <laughs> Uh, luckily Fisker was there to help me out. So, we're losing a few players now to the Sniper and uh, their combo. So we're going to try and keep pressure on We know they have, well we think they have Uber, they do. So we try and press them as much as possible and force that Uber. So now that because they have the numbers and they have the Uber, we're going to try and get out as fast as we can. Unfortunately Fisker doesn't, but that means I can get out and so can Bite, which is a lot better than having the Medic and the Soldier get out. No offence Soldiers. So now we've got the numbers, we've got more damage. So we're just going to try and harass as much as possible again. It's me trying to you know, just do as much damage. I've called that soldier's weak. I managed to kill him in the end. And luckily we've got another soldier and a scout there to clean up that soldier and the medic. So there goes the medic. And then Greg is straight on that uh, soldier. And we've got a sniper there as well. So we've got the numbers. We're just constantly pressuring, constantly doing damage. You know, just keeping the push going all the time. There we go, Greg just harassing that man again, not letting him get his stickies up, not letting, get his, not letting him get his trap up, and stopping him from, you know, spamming onto our medic and possibly forcing an Uber or anything. Um, and so, yeah. It's going to be the same again, where we're going to try and push choke, but, you know, because we've got a sniper on left, we know they're nowhere near us. Or that, rather, one of them is. So we get him picked off. We do lose a soldier because where the sniper is. I mean, like I said before, it's more ideal to push around under the left side, uh, Clifford or Big Choke, or whatever you want to call it. Um, but because we had a sniper as well, we didn't want to because we wanted our sniper to pick their sniper or you know get their medic, which is what happened. I mean, that's great that he managed to get their medic, but we did lose a soldier. So that kind of um, damaged our damaging players. You know, that damage the amount of pressure that we can put on them. And obviously, you know, we did manage to push them out, but we lost a few in the process, so that slowed our push. So we're just going to have to build up again, and it's going to be equal Ubers. Um, what we tend to do here is we'll have our combo around uh, middle or left. Bite will, like, switch between the both and heal me up. And I'll just hold the left side completely. I'll be holding River completely. I won't leave it at all because, um, you know, if, if I can get behind them, without them seeing, obviously they saw me then, um, that's pretty much a free cap. So as you can see, I'm going for it, I'm going for, stick I'm going for the stickies on the point, I'm going for that cap, and I was so close, I just had to move left then. But I called it them as weak, and Mike can harass him so much that he can just walk on the point and cap it. So as you can see, I'm not being too frag hungry. Um, what I'm focusing on is just getting the damage out and calling that to my teammates so that they're, you know, following through with the harassment. Um, it probably wasn't the best idea in the world to come to the left side right now, because, again, the down man comes left. Luckily, I'm actually faster than him that time. But I see the sniper dot again, I call it. And as I said before, I, teams are now tending to push on me and pressure me. Um, so I'm just staying back, waiting for that one player to come through and I'll clean them up, or, you know, have helped clean them up. And because of that, as you just saw, my team completely wiped them because they were focused on getting me. Again, like the last round, teams are, at the moment are too focused on getting me and they're ignoring the rest of my team. Um, so as you see here, we're going, going to go for another spawn camp because it's a full wipe on middle. Um, unfortunately, this wasn't called with my team and I blew my stickies a bit too early. Um, so obviously that didn't work out. Had I been, you know, a couple of seconds later with the explode, with uh, detonating, um, that have been three kills, and I'm sure there's an innuendo in there somewhere. So yeah, brilliant bait there by my team. What we what they did then was uh, actually waited outside the lobby for them to push out and try and block it, and then just uber straight into their face. So that's really well played by them. And obviously wiping them in lobby, free cap. So I'm going to be going the slow right side, so that kind of indicates that I'm going to be going up left, which I should do. Um, jumping like that was actually an incredibly, incredibly stupid thing for me to do. 
Um, because had they actually contested for mid properly, like the soldiers jumping up on middle every single round they've done before this, um, I would have been dead. Because of the fact that you know their soldiers would have beaten me because I took the slow route uh, to mid rather than jumping from the ramp to the door. Um, so that's pretty much why we wiped it. That was a bit of a stupid thing for me to do there. Um, even though I got behind them. But they didn't, they didn't really focus too much on me. I, I got some spam off and it was only one soldier in the medic that were on me. And the rest of my team couldn't really do anything uh, from down the bottom. So because we're at a huge uber disadvantage, we're going to go for the uh, the engineer at last. Um, this isn't really a favour of mine. I mean, I can't re exactly remember this game because it was a while ago. I mean, maybe we realised there's crits and we went for the sentry. Who knows? Um, but you know, had it, oh, we actually did have a pyro there. My bad. So yeah, um, like I said, pyro on last, especially on belly wash. Always a huge help because being able to bounce the medic back or bounce them around and just hurt, annoy him. Because nothing annoys me more than trying to push on last and the pyro is just bouncing everything away from himself and the team. Especially good pyro. So here I'm just, like I said, I'm getting behind them, harassing as much as possible, getting the kills. And this is a bit cheeky of me, I'm trying to even take the health back. Um, which they're pushing on to, and um, that was a bit stupid of me, but luckily I weakened them quite a lot. Didn't manage to take the health pack though, so I called that they took the health pack, but as you can see here, we just need to through and clean everything up. That's a demo when the soldier down straight away. So that's a free middle for my team, and if they stack it, they can push straight on without having to worry about me, or they can just push on straight away actually with one scout cap in. But the problem now is we've lost Mike, because there's actually only Flisker there to do the damage um, to help the push that's kind of delayed the push for my team and as you can see there they're waiting at choke for they're waiting at choke for me um so yeah I'm not sure what i was trying there i think it's you know it's whittling down to the last few minutes of the game and i'm just doing the usual thing well of well we've won does it does it really matter anymore we haven't got an engineer on mid <laughs> um so yeah I mean that's pretty much what the entire game for me is focused on now. I'm just I'm purely harassing. I'm not there to get all the kills. I'm not there to you know defend. I'm there to harass as much as possible. Stop and you know push onto them even when they're pushing us. So as you can see, there a little fake jump for them. I'm not sure they actually know I'm above them, but it looks like they don't. So like I said, when it when it whittles down to the end of the game, I get a bit cheeky and do silly stuff. <laughs> I got two bottle kills there and it paid off. <laughs> um, so my my advice really for them men on on Gully Watch that are trying to have a similar style to me is just con just be in their face as much as possible. But you don't want to overcommit to the like so much that you're being separated from your team like I am right now. Look how far away I am away from from um by like he was unable to heal me completely but again that's it's down that's just due to the fact that it's in the last few minutes of the game and i'm just doing stupid stuff now um but yeah just constantly harass you need to be in their face all the time you can't have a time where you're just sitting back waiting for them to push you i mean what good's that gonna do i mean fair enough if you're like three nil up but if it's tied or they're winning by a few you need to constantly be in the face you can't just be on the back seat all the time you need to be the one that's controlling the game and you know yeah that's pretty much it so uh thanks for watching i've been numlock from team infused uh so yeah